Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and in my hands is Forgotten Ruins, Wizard's Cult number zero, based off of the video game. We got hooked up with the entire series, and we're going to go issue by issue in Forgotten Ruins, Wizard's Cult week. I don't know what else to call it. Uh, so we're going to go and review every issue. I believe there is four issues on top of the zero issue, uh, plus the zero issue, so five total. Uh, we're going to go and review every single one, one by one, Skip Wednesday for new comic book day. You know, we'll do it Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Should cover it all, right? Right. All right, so we're skipping off with the Zero issue. I, I, first off, I want to say is I do not know anything about Forgotten Ruins. Uh, from what I understand, it's based off a of video game. That's about all I got. Uh, so I'm going in pretty new and blank, and i got to say, it's actually a pretty fun comic. It's really, really entertaining. So created by Magic Machine, written by Joe Ruckman, illustrated and lettered by Ed Doom. Colorist is uh, Molly is Mutz, James uh, Betrez, and Ed Doom. All right, so uh, this this is Zero Issue. Zero Issues, I always feel like, have one main goal, and that goal is to get you interested in coming back for the first issue. And I have to say, this this succeeds. Uh, it's really funny, uh, fun. It's an interesting style. Um, all right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this by saying that I f there has been some tabletop games and video games, uh, comics based off of video games and, and tabletop fantasy games, uh, that I think have fallen short of their original material. Uh, they have been either they dove too much into it or veered too far away, uh, and it frankly stunk. They were just weren't very good. Uh, so without knowing the source material on this, I have to say I kind of want to find out about the source material on this. It's it's. Uh, zero issue, it takes you through, uh, I think, four or five different characters, uh, like, bouncing around in time and introducing them and teasing kind of maybe what's to come for each of them. Uh, they're all varied in, in uh, their worlds. We, we got, like, an alchemist, a, uh, I don't know what you call it, historian, grave robber, something like that. Uh, someone, I believe, would be kind of like an elf. Uh, and I believe there's a wizard as well and all that. And a thief. There's also a thief. Um... And each one is very distinct, very unique, very, like, has personality. And I think that's the thing that really kind of jumps out at me, is each of the characters in the Zero Issue have personality, and they're entertaining. And that's the thing that I think really enjoy about it is, uh, yes, it's fantasy, but, I you know, there's there's that fantasy that gets really into it and takes itself very seriously. And then there's there's some fantasy that just kind of rolls with it. That's, that's the setting. It still is kind of fun, airy, and just has, like, a good flow and... We'll call it a little bit more modern fantasy, if anything. Uh, and and this falls into that more modern fantasy, that more Final Fantasy sort of uh, series where, like, you know, you, you can't take it totally seriously, that it does seem to wink and nod every so often at itself. Uh, and, you know, just, just go with it. Uh, as I said, uh, the the art of this is actually is really cool. So first, there's like a whole bunch of kind of like breakdown of characters. First, I gotta apologize. This got damage with water on the on the trip, uh, shipment here. Um, I apologize to everyone for that. Um, you get a nice little map of the world. Cool. And the art is is pretty cool. Like I, I dig the style. I like the coloring. There's something that's kind of very like animation cell about it. Um, I really, really like it. it. It reminds me a bit of the the D and D '80s cartoon in some ways, like a, but a bit more like brighter animation, uh, brighter, brighter coloring, brighter like just literally brighter. Uh, and I think it's cool. Or uh, uh, oh my God, Dragon was it Dragonlance? The what was the one that was the CD? You know what I'm talking about? That one. That also reminds me of that as well. Um, so the art, I, I I I dig. The characters are dig. The it's a, perfectly good solid introduction um i like kind of the flow of it it flows really nicely i'm loving the, the pixel art that's kind of in the back teasing the characters and what the, the types they are um the other thing i think is really cool and i don't want to show it off uh, well i'll show it off really quickly uh is there's like fake ads in there that are like the old school ads and i really really dig this i wasn't expecting that uh and it got me to laugh it and i think that really kind of sums up the the vibe of it of the comic as a whole is yeah it's a fantasy comic you go through and there's like fake ads and the ads are hilarious and it's really entertaining and i think it like 
perfectly encapsulates the vibe of the series, or the, at least the comic. Uh, so check it out if you haven't yet. Uh, this is this is pretty good so far. We're going to go through every single issue. There's four more issues to do. Uh, Forgotten Ruins, Wizard's Cult. Uh, I want to, of course, thank Titan Comics for opening us up with this review copy. Um, and if, if you want your own copy, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code, put it in, it'll tell if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links. By doing that, you help support us. Uh, by watching our videos, you also support us as well, so thank you. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky. All at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the rest of them. If, if the rest are similar tone to this, this is going to be a good find. I'm going to be glad. Uh, I'm really going to be happy that this got sent to me. Uh, so go check this out. Actually, yeah. Until next time, keep reading those comics. Give me Kiki. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at Graphic Policy. Dot com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.